Okay, next up in our JavaScript interview question series, creating arrays that are pre-populated with some sort of value. So instead of just creating an array and saying, hey, this array has eight things in it, um, or I've got an array that is eight long, but there's absolutely nothing inside of it, let's say we want to pre-populate, and I've chosen random numbers as a good practical solution. So I want to have an array with five different random numbers in it. So I'll give you a moment to try that out. Uh, then after the pause, I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about two different possible solutions. So you can pause now and try that out for yourself. And welcome back. All right, so let's talk about the first solution. When you create an array, you can use the uh, sorry, not the new, we're going to do that one second, uh, array from method. Now this allows you to pass in another array, or you can pass in an array-like structure to this, and it's going to create a brand new array. If you pass in an array, it's going to be a shallow copy of that. If you pass in an array-like structure, it's going to build a new array from that structure, using that structure as a base. Now that doesn't mean that I have to put an array inside of here. I can put in an object. And I'm only going to give it one property, and that is length. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking an object that has a length property of 5, and I'm going to say, build an array from that. Well, that's the only property that an array has, so it's going to give me an array that is 5 items long. I still don't have it pre-populated, though. I still don't have a whole bunch of elements inside there. Thankfully, the from method gives us a second parameter, and that is a map function. So you can call a function that is going to iterate through every element inside that array. In this case, it's five blank elements, so five empty things. And it's going to go through each one of those, and then we can put whatever we want using the map function. So let's just say I'm going to take a number. Whatever the element is, that's what n is going to hold. So that's the empty element. And then inside of here is what I'm going to return. And that's just going to be math.random. I'm going to call the random function. This is going to return a random number to me. And each one of these is now going to be a random number. So let's save that. We'll open up our console and run this once. And there we go. For number one, we have the five random numbers being generated. Great. That's the first one. All right. Another alternative to this is with the new array. Now, when you're declaring a new array like this, instead of using the square bracket syntax, you can pass in a parameter which is going to be used as the length, the value for that one property, the length property. We have that. Then I can call the fill method, and I can put anything I want in there. I'm just going to put null. This is going to, whatever I put here is going to be used for every one of the elements. So I'm not going to get a different thing. If I put the number one, I would have an array that have five number ones in it. If I put 17, it would have five 17s. I'm just going to leave it as null because I don't care about this. Then I'm going to call the map function. So sort of like what we did up here. And each one of those nulls is going to be passed in, and we are going to return math.random, just like that. Or we could put a 1 if you wanted to include that and say n plus the random number or n times the random number, so 1 times whatever this is. However you want to structure this. The key is create the new array with a length specified, call fill to put something in each one of those spaces, then you can call map to map over each one of those values. And if we run this again, there we go. Now both are providing us with two lists, or each one is providing a list of five random numbers. All right, so in the description, there's a link with this sort of finished code. You can download that, play around with it, and experiment with it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.